Hey guys and welcome to a new Pendafilm tutorial. This is part 4 in a 5 part series of tutorials on how to retouch a model's face. In this part I'm going to be showing you how to fix the makeup and enhance some features on the model's face like hair and the eyelashes and the eyebrows and the lips. And in the previous couple parts I showed you how to enhance the eyes, remove blemishes and apply skin smoothing. If you've missed any of those you can find the links in the description below. So the first thing first, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to name this a makeup one. Now with this layer, I'm going to fix the makeup on the lips. So I'm going to grab a brush tool, get the right size, hold Alt so we can get the eyedropper and choose a good color of lipstick. Now I'm just going to roughly go over the lips like so. Just paint in like that and on the top lip I'm going to do similar like so I'm going to go to filter blur and Gaussian blur a radius of 30 I think will do I'm going to grab the eraser tool and just get rid of oops let's just turn the hardness down slightly I'm just going to get rid of all of the paint that may have accidentally spilled over onto the skin whilst I blurred it like this. I'm only doing it rough because I want to keep this tutorial short and now I'm going to choose color. In the blending mode option here it's the second from the bottom I'm just going to reduce the opacity to around 65 percent turn it off and back on and you can see the huge difference it's made to the model's lips. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make another new layer. I'm going to name this Makeup-2. And this is going to... I don't really like the change in blue to the bronze color they have in the eye, eyelid here. So I'm going to just going to fill this in and enhance the flick over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a brush tool. Hold Alt again and choose a blue from the eyeliner. The uh, eyeshadow, sorry. And I'm just going to color this all in up here. I'm going to do that again actually. Color this all in. Like so. Grab a smaller brush and just flick that part out like so. I'm going to do what I did again and just apply the same uh, blur that we did earlier. Go to the blending mode options and choose color. That's before and that's after. So that's fixed that part which has been bugging me for a while now. Now for the eyelashes we're going to duplicate the, well we're going to merge all these layers by using our Shift Control Alt and E keys. I'm just going to rename this layer to eyelashes. I'm going to change the blending mode to a multiply. Then I'm going to apply a black layer mask by holding Alt and clicking on the layer mask tool. Grabbing a brush tool and making sure the opacity is at 100% and the color is on white. I'm just going to paint over the eyelashes like so. Whoops, I'm going to make the brush smaller as we go further down the eyelashes. I do this in lines so I know where I'm painting. Let's make it smaller and then just stroke the eyelashes. I know there is a lot of eyelashes in this picture and it's going to take some time. So I'll just speed it up. Now we have done that, we can grab the black brush and just fix the areas that I may have slipped and colored in the skin. It doesn't have to be perfect since we're going to be lowering the opacity, which will make it quite hard to notice any mishaps that I may have done. Now I don't really have to do the upper eyelashes because they're quite dark. So now I'm just going to pull the opacity of this down to say 30, before and after, before and after. 
Now they are quite intense. So now we're going to do the Control Shift Alt and E thing again, and this is going to be sharpen lips. I'm going to go to Filter, sharpen and unsharp mask again. Now we're just going to choose the amount of 50. Hit Enter. Make a black layer mask by holding Alt and hitting the layer mask button again. Zooming onto the lips, grabbing the brush tool, make sure it's white, and then painting over the lips like so. This will just make it so that they are sharpened, and slightly more enhanced than the rest of the picture. So we're going to fit screen before and after, and then actual pixels before and after. We're going to go and do something to the hair. So we're just going to merge all the layers again. And I'm going to name this hair. Now there's a couple different things you can do to the hair. But what I like to do is, first of all, choose a multiply. And bring the opacity down to 50. Make a layer mask. And just brush white over the hair. And now we're just going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur, making sure it's on the um, layer mask. And I think 150 should do it. So before and after, let's just grab the eraser tool and just erase the background. So there we go, that's the hair. Now we're going to click on the layer and then the layer picture here for the hair. Go to filter, sharpen and unsharp mask. Just going to go to 50%, hit OK. So this is sharpen the hair as well as darken it. So that's it for this part. I know it went on for a bit. Join me in part 5 where I do the final touches. So I hope to see you in the next part. Thanks for watching part 4, which is hair and makeup.